it's your boy welcome back to another video today's video what's my favorite deck after pendulum it's not tailor mate it definitely ain't no sprite it is scareclaw so in today's video i'm gonna showcase to you guys the craziest scareclaw floodgate i've ever seen that no one is talking about whether you're playing tailor mate or just in general any deck any deck and you can just throw in a minor engine just throw this engine in it is so incredibly busted. You actually need to read this card to believe it. it, it, it it's game changing. If you guys are new to the channel, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, let's get straight into this video. Before we do, also, I want you guys to check out down in the description below, we got the most awesome OCG sleeves from Sleeve Chief. Shout out to them. So go check them out. We got Astrograph, cool OCG designs. Check them out down in the description and check out the beautiful playmentripgaming.com and stay tuned for this entire video because what you're going to see in this video is going to blow your mind. Scareclaw right card searches Scareclaw arrival, right? You get some setup and stuff, but this new floodgate, I don't think you understand. It, it's like Abyss Dweller on crack. You guys will see what I'm talking about. We're just going to get straight into this video. So I'm going to do a bunch of random combos here. This is my 60 card Scareclaw tier limit pile with Nemesis and Nimbles, which I think this deck is busted. I think it's so good. Scareclaw Twin Slaw. Twin, Twin Slaw. That is the card. This card is fucking bananas. It says, re hear this out. Tribute one Scareclaw monster and then target two cards your opponent controls, destroy them. It's not, I'm, this, it's not done yet. <laughs> you think that's crazy? That's not even half the effect. So not only is it a Mystic Mine out, not only does it pop two fucking cards. If a link three or higher monsters in the field, <coughs> curious. Aha, <laughs> Griffin! You can banish this card from the graveyard. Neither player can activate the effects of Link Monsters this turn. Neither player can activate the effects of Link Monsters. This card doesn't even need to be on the field. You could literally at the end of your combo, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, okay? Listen to me. This You guys don't, you guys don't understand. You guys don't understand. <laughs> you guys don't understand. You can play Tier Limit. For just play one of this curious send scareclaw twin slot what link is curious it's a fucking link three pass your turn on their turn you just on the graveyard quick effect twin saw from the graveyard banish curious just sent it banish like play scareclaws obviously if you're gonna play this card banish it your opponent cannot use link effects for the rest of this turn on the on the field so if curious gets sent to the grave you still get to add neither player can activate effects of link monster on the field this turn do you have any idea how broken that is? This is Abyss Dweller for Link Monsters. This is Abyss fucking Dweller for Link Monsters. Now what's crazy on top of that is what happens when you end on Scareclaw Twin Slot, which is a pop 2 plus... Pop 2, we're gonna do it so it pops 2. Plus, your opponent can't use Link Monsters for the turn. Plus, they cannot use whatever type I call with Arch Nemesis. And Griffin's gonna be on the field. And if I want Dweller. That's 4 Floodgates in one turn. Dweller, no Graveyard. No Special Summon Monsters in the field because of Griffin. No links because of the, because of Twin Saw. And no Aquas or Dragons because of whatever I'm going to call with this. GG, bro. And pop two. And I'm going to have three outs to Mystic Mind. Three. I'm going to have three more negates on top of all that shit. So now you might be thinking, okay, Triff, but wait a second. If you go Scareclaw Twin Slot, right? How are you going to keep this in the field? With the, uh, the issue with this card I found at first was this forces me to keep a Scareclaw on the field. That was like the issue that i found with it i'm gonna teach you guys right now how to do it so it 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 doesn't matter so what you do in this scenario you do not activate vice of star frost do you notice there's no vice of star frost in the grave no vice of star frost on the field it's in my hand so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna play my combo normally as i would play i'm playing tier limit by the way i'm gonna eventually sprite sprint curious all this shit that's why this deck's crazy. It just synergizes so broken together. I'm going to end it off. At the very end, I'm going to Vice's Starfrost, whatever is useless. And then I'm going to go Scareclaw Lightcart, special from the graveyard, because Vice is on the field. And because Scareclaw Lightheart, Lightheart is a Scareclaw, that is how I will pop two cards with Twinsaw. Yu-Gi-Oh! PhD, boys. That's what I am. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh! PhD. I'm going to Special Magnum right here. He's going to Druid Worm my Magnema. I don't care. I'm going to draw one card and I'm going to recycle that card. I'm going to pop his Druid Worm. Look at this genius play. I'm popping his Druid Worm. I'm allowing him to, to send something with Sprite Elf. 
I'm gonna go Mannequin Cat. This mannequin Cat is so broken. You guys don't understand how broken this card is. Like, you really don't understand how broken this card is. The second your opponent activates a hand trap, Mystic Card, any hand trap, you just special summon it back and you just summon any card you're missing in your deck. In a deck that plays like 18 engines, do you have any idea how insane this is? I literally let him Druid over my shit. I don't care. I'm missing a tail limit. So I specialed him early. Mad King Cat is the most underused rank level 2 card in the game. It's still the best card in the game by Lensa. Literally. <laughs> Mad King Cat is the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not joking. It's, right now, it's literally the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh. People don't understand. I've been on this card since day one. This card's insane. And now, yeah, we're going to go Sprite Sprint and send Merly. It's fucking crazy. Uh, actually insane. Actually insane. Uh, we use Havness and Merly so far. Uh, we're going to go Kikalos. We're just going to mill some more. I sent Sprite Smashers. I I don't care. Uh, I go Garura. I'm going to... Look, look how many cards I have in my hand. <laughs> I can just keep going forever. Curious, draw with Garura. Add with Selyak. Summon another with Nimble. I'm just gigantic spreading to create space here. I still am trying to find a way. I have, I have nine cards in my hand. I'm now going to summon a Vice of Star Frost. And I'm going to special the Scarecrow Lightheart. Lightheart. And guess what? Lightheart gives me a zone. Because Lightheart gives me a zone, I have Griffin. I have Twin Saw Live. I have Griffin on the field. That's a link three or higher. And you know what? Look, Mad King Cat and Beatrice are not linked to Griffin. I don't care. I don't care. I'm putting him in a position right now where if you don't out the Griffin, you lose the game. And once you out the Griffin, you still have to deal with Mad King Cat and Draco Stapelia. You actually can't do anything. Enter battle. All right, Twin Saw. Pop two. Pop both of them. Summon three. Activate Twin Saw from Graveyard. Because I have Griffin on the field, Maiden cannot activate its effect. Uh, he cannot summon Dragons because of Escados. And uh, a Twin Soft makes it so he cannot link any of this. And what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Make a Dweller? Make a rank 4? Make a make anything? You can't. You can't use its effect because of Griffin. And if he outs the Griffin, I instantly, right after that, Mannequin Cat and, and uh, uh, Militia, uh, Beatrice. And Smashers. Smashers is just chilling. My turn. Escados. Let me just first plus a billion. Escados called Spellcaster, Magnuma, GG. Best deck. Seriously, best deck. Best deck. This is one more replay of the deck in action, of how good this Scareclaw Floodgate is. This time, we're just going to uh, fast forward the entire way. Uh, you guys saw the last comment tutorial ended on a 19,000 negates. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this version now. So, uh, there's not much to talk about. You guys already know what the end board looks like. He gets Havness. This triggers my Magnuma. Uh, this is just game. I love all my opponent happinesses always because this allows this makes sure that my mannequin cat will always resolve uh, by summoning something from his grave, and uh, it gives me cards for dark. It's just so good. I go Beatrice, make mannequin cat. These cards are crazy. Uh, specialist happiness. I get special sprite blue. Oh my! Like mannequin cat's effects are special any monster from your deck. That's what it's, that's literally what it says. Curious. Uh, now I just have so many lines here that it just like it doesn't matter. I'm just. At this point, I'm just I'm just playing cards, bro. It just, this just, just doesn't matter at this point. I just have so many gates now. I skip light, light, this Skickle Light Heart, I'm going to keep here forever. Because that's how I'm going to use my Skickle Twin Saw. I'm just going to mill some more. I call Aqua with the effect of Escados, triggering my own Havness. I do not go for Griffin here, or Curious. If you guys noticed, this line of play. So, I know that he's going to have uh, five cards in his hand. I know he's going to have five cards in his hand. He's locked out of Aquas with Escados. He's playing Tier Limit. He's already loses. I don't need to... Uh, br uh, like I could go for the like, Axis Code or something or just have a Link 4 on the field to trigger my Twin Saw. Or I, I could have gone Griffin if I wanted to. But there's no need. I, I have so many negates here that it just doesn't matter. I, I just have too many negates. I'm just going to let him play cards. It doesn't doesn't matter. I have two outs to Mystic Line as well. <laughs> this just doesn't matter. I'm going to let him summon cards. He's under, he's under, uh, uh, he can't summon Aquas as well. I balance that on summon. He sets two, I pop both. End phase, Beatrice. It doesn't matter. This is pen best deck. Pen best deck. Scareclaw Floodgate, bro. Pop two, the Scareclaw Floodgate, bro. And on top of that, if I really want it, it, it also makes me can't summon, play any links. Do you have any idea how crazy that is? My opponent cannot sprite elf. My opponent cannot sprite sprint. And then I... Holy shit, it's broken. 
And in conjunction with other floodgates, it's just auto win. It's really just an auto win. And here, uh, this is going to be the last game I'm going to showcase to you guys. This is also going to showcase to you guys. And another thing I do with Twin Saw is I try and out the opponent's entire board. Last card is a Scareclaw. Search Twin Saw and clear everything. Now, I'm under Dweller. This is where I make a, a big mistake. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a, a big mistake here. So I'm going to Mystic Mine it. All right, all I got to do at this point is out the, tra the trap I don't know in case it's an out to Mystic Mine with Lubelion because I also keep Brandon Beast in. It's a 60-card deck. So I go Lubelion. I get Brandon uh, Beast. What I should do, this is what I should do. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. What I should do, get the follow-up of Magnum, Lubelion Trap, pop. Uh, I would enter enter battle phase, kill Dweller, Brandon Beast, kill the set, pass turn. Don't be under Dweller, because Dweller does hurt this deck, obviously. And then on my upcoming turn, I know the card in his hand, I win the game. That's the best play, but I fucked up. I got really greedy. I'm like, yeah, right, he doesn't have shit. Let me just go for do stuff. Like, not real. I, I do play goods in this deck, I just realized, yeah. Not realizing that I kind of cocked myself here. All, like, you know, I'm doing these plays until I realize my only play locks me out of twos. At that point, I can't even curious. So I fucked up. I even fucked up by not putting all these cards in defense. By putting them in defense, I could have popped it, popped Lulu. And because he's under Dragon Spray, he can't summon it back. And I just lost my L for nothing. I, I played this one awful. Seriously, I played it like shit. I'm still going to clear his entire board. Uh... Uh, through Dweller, which is still very nice. A lot against Dweller, a lot of these decks will do nothing. That's why I think Mystic Mind is actually really powerful because you're playing. I'm playing the Crystal Beast package with Foolish Burial Goods, so there's actually like nine with Terraforming set rotation. You play nine ways to Mystic Mind, but you're only playing one Mystic Mind, so it's not like you brick on the Mystic Minds, but you play nine. That makes sense. That's why Searching Field Spells are broken. That's why stuff like Scareclaw is so insane. Uh, Tealament Grief, like even if you open with Tealaments, you got Tealament Grief. Kikalos get Grief. Uh, yeah, Kikalos get Grief. Grief uh, will eventually get to Vice to Frost. Vice to Frost will get you uh, Scareclaw Twinsaw. Twinsaw will pop two, and then Twinsaw will stop your point from playing. So all you got to do for end board is just Scareclaw Twinsaw. And then focus on stuff to stop them going second, like Mystic Mind, whatever. So at this point, I know I win the game because I have Branded Beast and Druid Worm. I know he has Branded High Spirits. So the second you activate, like, I'm good. There's no answer he has to win this game. Basically, except for Instant Fusion. I'm sick. I'm sick. On top of that, by the way, one more thing I completely forgot to mention. If you guys notice, I specifically banished Lugal Carlos because I knew he had high spirits in hand. One more thing I for completely forgot to mention. He doesn't have a target for high spirits. I banished Sm Lugal Carlos. Specifically, I did that play of Smashers to L Lugal Carlos because he'll be. I know he has high spirits in hand. I know he has another engrave. I think high spirits is ass, by the way. They literally think this card's fucking dog shit in this deck. His only target is Lugal Carlos. I, I know he's not playing Death Frog. He has Lulu Carlos for that. He doesn't play two. He, he's left with one card top deck to my Branded Beast and Druid Worm. Three interruption combo. Druid Worm will get rid of a, like a DD Crow tier limit. Branded Beast will pop one. Druid Worm will send one. So I have three interruptions as one card. And he had instant fusion. I'm sick, bro. I'm sick. So I'm going to uh, let him go through the motions here. I'm going to stop the Havness. Just, uh, I stopped it a little early. The reason why I want to set up the Druid Branded Beast combo as soon as possible. I allow him to mill here. Okay. I allow him to mill. I want him to, I, I, the second you, I saw Rhino Heart, I knew uh, that Collado is coming shortly thereafter. I know it's coming, okay? So because it's coming, I want to wait to see what his, his, uh, I want to wait and see what his chain links would be. So he goes chain links here with, with the spell and the, and the fusion. He does it in a way where my last chains, I can now trigger the Brighter Beast to stop the Perler Reno. The Perler Reno will always get stopped from the Beast. And he collado hearted the uh, beast. Or, yeah, he collado hearted the trap. Henceforth, because Perlerino is off the field, collado hearts remains at 3000 attack and gigantic remains at 32. So now my druid one will send the sprint and he cannot out my gigantic sprite. And if you just, if you just pop, I know he doesn't have an answer for Brandon High Spirits. Brandon High Spirits is fucking ass. Don't play in your deck, guys. I now win the game because I have gigantic sprite. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck. This is the deck list. It plays two scare clock cards, Arrival and Twin Saw. Because Twin Saw is just in general a great card to send to the grave. Whether it be through Foolish Barrel Goods, Beatrice, or Curious. You always end on Curious or Griffin. Always. Like, no matter what. So because you're always ending on Curious or Griffin, sometimes I even go out of my way to go Axis Go Talker. If he's playing a, a deck that fucking just instantly loses to Scareclaw Twin Saw. Like a, a Link deck or something. So Scareclaw Twin Saw, you do it. The idea of this deck is you floodgate them from using any links with Twin Saw. You stop them from using any special summon monster effects in the main monster zone, like sprites, 
or like tier limit fusions. So Griffin, uh, no special summon monsters can use their effects. No links can use their effects. And then just depending on what I think they're playing, whether it be a, from a Bisted, tier limit, mill, whether it's game two or game three, I go for what hurts them with the Escados. So it's three floodgates. So let's say they're playing Sprite. I make it so they can't summon Thunder because I'll summon my own Sprite and destroy my own Sprite. If they're playing Tier Limit, I'll summon my own Tier Limit and have it be my last card I destroy to trigger my Tier Limit. That's why I'll, I do not play Lulu Carlos. That's why I do not play... Uh, I could play Collado, but I don't even play... Uh, Teal, uh, I, uh, I don't even play Rhino Heart. So that's why the only card to play is Dracos Topalia because my last card, I always pop my Aqua because the only deck... like Tier Limit's the only deck that could compete with this deck. Sprite will hard lose to one Scare Clock Twin Saw. So... I'm not even capping. So they summon two monsters. Think of this, okay? All you need is one Scarlet Twinsaw. This floodgate is fucking broken. They summon two sprites. Twinsaw, pop both sprites. The second they summon two more monsters, you banish your Twinsaw from the graveyard. It's not once per turn. You can use both as many times, like each once per turn. Banish from grave. You cannot use links. GG, bro. L like, bro, all you need is one... I could go... Normal summon Skirka right card. Search Twin Saw. Pass. It'll beat Sprite. Fuck, it'll probably beat other decks. Why well, I need a Link 3 as well. Uh, and that's the idea. Uh, absolutely broken. So when you combine the Floodgates of, of no Links, no Special Summon Monsters, and no type of whatever deck they're playing, GG. You can even play Dweller, no Great Effects, but at that point, it's just overkill. Uh, so yeah, you play all these. Don't ask why I'm playing each of these cards, okay? They're all, all videos on themselves. Why I'm playing the Crystal Beast. It searches any field spell. Uh, the synergy of this deck is Sheeran. Sheeran, if you hard draw the Malicious or the Angler, uh, my team has Bricks per se, but because you're playing Goods and the Trap and all the, like, 15 ways to Perlerino, you're able to, or 15 ways to Sheeran, you can send it. It's just a synergy of the whole deck. And on top of that, it's also 15 ways to Vice's Star for us. And once you get the Vices Star Frost, you get to every single engine in this deck. Once you get the Tier Limits, you get the Grief, which gets the Vices. Once you get the Tier Limit, you get the Level 2s because of Sprint. Once you get the Level 2s, you get the Tier Limits because of Sprint. Once you get to the Level 6s, you get the Beatrice, which gets to anything. And once you get to the Level 2s, you get to the Sprites. It's just broken. And once you get the Milling, you could Elf the Flag and Blue. The synergy is just absolutely beautiful. And because you're playing only the one, like going second, you have uh, 7 Mystic Mines. But even more, because Beatrice, you, it's not even the hard-drawn Mystic Minds of the Goods and the Salvation. Uh, by playing one card blowouts like Twin Song, which is why it's so broken. Or one card blowouts like Madkin Cat, if I was playing Fallen of Alabaz, but I'm not. Or just ge in generic one card blowout interruptions, which is why Twin Saw is here. Uh, you could focus on more cards for going second, like the Goods package, to focus on Mystic Mind. So now going second, the game plan of this deck is you bait out all your opponent's cards. You save the Rainbow Bridge of Salvation for the very end. And you Beatrice, Rainbow Bridge, Beatrice and Attack, send Rainbow Bridge of Salvation, Search Mystic Mine, and Crystal Beast, Active Mystic Mine, crash your Beatrice Pass. And the 60 card deck seal, you won't deck up. And uh, if you, yeah, you're, you're not even trying to deck them out. You're just stalling for all their interruptions to be gone, for you to have five cards in hand, they have a full board, and you just fucking kill them. And because you play so many field spells, you just drop the field spell on top when you're ready to kill. That's the deck. It is absolutely broken. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, you guys smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Get the beautiful playmats on tripgaming.com. Also, get the beautiful sleeves at Sleeve Cheap down below. Amazing OCG sleeves. And so smash the subscribe button. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.